Hello there, air signs. Welcome back to Mystic Unicorn. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Yes, I know that I've been away. Um, I have another channel, although many of you already know that because a lot of you are from my first channel, but it is Divine Conversations and I've been doing a lot of work over there. Um, I highly recommend if you guys are vibing with me here on this channel and you don't know about Divine Conversations, you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out because that's really where I do all of my general energy readings. I do a lot of astrology there. Some of you already know that I work with, well, most of you actually, all of my subscribers here on this channel know that I work with not uh, traditional uh, astrology because I, I work with the energies of Ophiuchus. If you're interested in sidereal astrology readings, um, I'm doing that over on, on my first channel, Divine Conversations. Go ahead and check that out, yeah? It's a really great place, um, and you have access to more more readings from me, right? So there you go. So that's why I've been away from Mystic Unicorn for a while. I needed to take a break in December, and I've been working really hard on a lot of content because there is a lot of stuff going on in the cosmos right now that's actually, quite frankly, helping a lot of us reach union, the union of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Yes, yes, honey. Okay, <laughs> anyway, let's move forward here. This is for my air signs. Uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I'm doing it this week, uh, this way, this week, because I, again, I have a big workload and I don't want to completely neglect you guys here. I definitely want to keep getting some love messages out for the collective. So instead of doing three separate readings, I'm doing one bulk reading for all of the signs. Of course, Ophiuchus, you're special because you get your own reading. <laughs> I At least, yeah, I, Ophiuchus can't be. Uh, anyway, uh, and so that's what I'm doing here today. So this is going to be for my Gemini Libras and Aquariuses. Yes, I'm going to start with the Energy Oracle deck. I'm going to get you an overall energy for love messages for you right now. And then we're going to break it down. We're going to look at your energy. We're going to look at the energy. And we're going to look at the energy of your potential partner, your actual partner, who's coming in for you, and see how you guys feel about the situation. Yes? Yes. All right, y'all. Let's get into this. For my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Starting with the or Energy Oracle deck. I'm going to give this five shuffles here. This is one. Two. For my air signs. What messages, what's going on in the love lives of my air signs here, yeah? Also, you guys keep in mind that especially since this is all three air signs, yeah, wrapped into one, this is three. This is a big old general reading, right? So keep, please keep that in mind. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is four. And oh, this is five. All right, y'all. Okay, there's a card that already wants to come out here. The sun. Okay. Um, I keep hearing don't put that out there. And yet I've done it already. Okay. See, but here... Mm. Okay, I, I'm not sure what's going on here, Air Signs. Um, you guys might be really confused about what's going on right now. The sun is here, but I keep hearing don't put that out there, all right? Sub in, in, it's somewhere, somewhere I keep hearing don't put that out there, but at the same time, I looked at the sun... And I got a message from it. I feel like you guys are becoming very, very clear on something. I mean, the sun in the traditional tarot is the most optimistic, the best card in the deck, okay? But there also is a not so fun side to the sun because the sun illuminates things. And so when I saw this card, I keep hearing don't put that out there. But when I saw this card, I immediately I thought you guys are becoming aware of something. And I keep hearing, don't put that out there because I feel like you don't know, want to know what it is, which is weird. If that's the case, then why are you watching this reading? No shade, like, please continue to watch. But at the same time, if you don't want to know, then why are you watching? But also it may be something that you're not necessarily willing to become aware of. That's what I'm hearing here. So something could be going on within your relationships in which you guys are becoming aware of something and either you're telling your partner or your best friend, or your or spirit, like your guides or whatnot, whatever. You're like, I don't want to hear it, spirit. I don't want to know. That is dangerous territory, air signs. 
dangerous territory, okay? If something is becoming, is being made clear to you at this point about a certain relationship that you have and you're refusing to accept it, you are literally, my dear, dear friend, you are literally setting yourself up for disaster. But that's fine. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got here. So what's going on for my air signs at this time, please, spirit? What messages do you have for air signs in love? What's going on in my air signs love life? Fucking A. And then look at this, you guys. The very first card that comes out is deceit. You are being made aware of some sort of deceitful energy around you. And you are trying to hide from it. With that, you have all tied up. But that has come out in reverse. And I kind of want to say you guys are enjoying being all tied up here. And then you have man holding a coin. Oh, karmic, toxic, masculine energies. Yes? Yes. Oh boy. Okay. And then overall energy here, air signs is strategy. I feel like you feel like, you feel like, I don't need to, I don't need to know what the toxicity is. I don't need to know about all this spirit because he can change. And I'm talking about a masculine energy that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a man. Okay. It could be a woman that embodies more of the masculine energy, but I feel like you are trying to strategize, strategize. You are trying to be strategic here in terms of this certain connection or relationship. But there's deceit. If someone is being deceitful with you from jump and, and spirit, your inner guidance, your higher knowing is trying to tell you about that. Why are you allowing yourself to stay all tied up, all wrapped up in this? All tied up is in reverse. Okay. So what that's telling me is not only are you all tied up, but you're, for some reason, you're happy being tied up like this, or you found contentment, you found comfortableness, you found a sense of security in this, you found security in deceitful endeavors, air signs, air signs, come now, you deserve better than deceitful individuals. Now, it could also be that the person that you're dealing with here is being strategic. Look, air signs, I could, I could try and stand here and spin this in a positive way, but I really don't want to. I'm really not going to because I don't want to try and spin something that is obviously deceitful in a positive way. What, like... I don't know. Maybe I'm being over dramatic. Now, at the same time, I could be here. I could have been hearing, don't put the sun out there. Don't expose me. Don't put this out there like that for me. Someone is, someone is, ooh, girl, girl. All right. Before I even go, before, let's just get into the tarot here. I want to see what your side of the equation is. So this is for the, this is for the watcher. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Keep that in mind. Um, you could be the watcher here, but you could also be the deceitful individual. I'm, I'm using two different decks, okay? And I'm going to start with saying what the inquisitor, all right? The person that's watching this reading, what is your energy? But of course, this is a general reading, so you could find yourself on either side of this situation, okay? Here we go. Five shuffles here. What is the energetic position? That's one of my collective of air signs here, yeah? Also, you could be cross-watching for an air sign. That's why you may find yourself on the other side of the equation here, yeah? All right, this is two. This is three. And, and look, look, look. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, all right? I'm still a human being, okay? This is four. I have my own personal triggers. Okay, I am not perfect. None, just like anyone else. There's a card that's already come out here. We're going to leave it right there. All right, so I just don't necessarily want, I don't really like to condone deceitful energies, but I am hearing there is a reason and a purpose for it. All right, this is five. And it could very well be that the reason and the purpose for this energy is for you to go through it, for you to experience it, and for you to learn a lesson about it. Okay? All right. First card that you have here is justice. Well, that's good. Overall, uh, I'm sorry. Well, kind of overall energy, but at the bottom of the deck for you right now is the lovers. Okay. 
There is some sort of justice that's coming into your life. Now, for some of you here, you are in fact finding out about deceitful endeavors and maybe this all tied up in reverse is you coming out of that. So maybe at one point in your life, you were happy, you were content with, you were okay with being all tied up being this way, being in a relationship or being in love with some sort of karmic and toxic masculine energy. But now you're becoming aware of it. And maybe your strategy here is how to get yourself out of it. That's beautiful. But there's justice coming into your life. Okay, what's this justice here? What is the, what is the energy for my air signs? Also, that symbolizes Libra. Okay, cute. Hi, Libra. You're showing up in your situation here. You do have the Eight of Swords. Look at that. I do see the all tied up card as a representation of the Eight of Swords. So you have been tied up. And maybe, okay, what I'm hearing now is past experiences. So, so maybe you're becoming aware of certain cycles and those cycle, the cycle that has led you to certain past experiences that you are now breaking free from. You are now finding justice and liberation from. Exactly. There you go. Six of Cups. That is the past. Three of Cups. Third party situations. Page of Pentacles. You've got a new start here finally. The lovers really wants to come out. All right. So I will say this. Libra or air signs. Uh, you do have a potential partner coming. And that partner is coming because you are breaking these toxic cycles. So really, now that I'm now that I'm reading into this even more, now that I've got a little bit more in, information and definite, oops, oh geez, okay, take them. All right, now that I've got a little bit more definition, this all tied up in reverse could absolutely be you breaking yourself free from this toxicity. Now I have all of these cards here. And I'm being told to take them. All right, so you have the Ace of Wands. I do feel like some of you are sprung on someone new. That's beautiful. Okay, that's great. But don't go overboard with it is what I'm hearing. All right, that's cool. You do have the Empress here. So we're talking to the Divine Feminine. You have the Six of Swords. You have the Hanged Man and you have the Page of Cups. So yeah, all right. So you are the Divine Feminine here. At least this person this side of the equation is the divine feminine feminine here. Okay. And the divine feminine has gone through a transformation. Excellent. That's beautiful. I love that for you, divine feminine. Sorry, mosquitoes. Uh, and um, you've gone through a transformation. You're moving forward. You've gone through this healing. And now you have a new emotional reality in front of you. Okay. The empress, ace of wands, six of swords is you moving forward because of the hanged man, which is a change in perspective. And then you have the page of cups. That's a new emotional reality. Okay. Cute. I do like that for you, air signs. Okay, that's wonderful. Let's get some energies, information on the person around you. Or maybe even for some of you, the person that's potentially coming forward towards you. Okay, wait. I don't know if I want to do that, spirit. That's confusing. Those are two, those feel like two different energies. Because I feel like if we're talking about the person that's currently surrounding you that is being deceitful. Oh my God, air signs, are you being the deceitful one? Oh my God. Y'all played me for a fucking fool, didn't you? You're being the deceitful one. Some of you are, at least. And the all tied up card in reverse is actually you pretending that you want to stay single. You genius. You, oh, you sly little thing. You have a strategy, don't you? Mm-hmm. All right, fine. So let's talk about this person that's coming forward towards you, yeah? Five shuffles here. One. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> oh my God, you 
guys played me real good. This is five. All right. All right. Shit. All right. Okay. What's going on with the energies of the person that's coming towards my air sign? Or maybe even the person that they're already connected with. What are the energies of the of my of the other person here, the other side of the equation? All right. Five of Cups. This person doesn't think you like them, the devil. Okay. Interesting. Well, already you're mirroring each other, you guys, because this person has the five of cups with the devil and then underneath the deck is the six of swords. This person may feel like, may think that they are too toxic for you, but they're not. They may have been a bit toxic in the past. They may have had, I'm here, I just heard specifically, they may have a toxic childhood that they're, that they're healing from. Um, but honestly, you have this too, is what I'm hearing. This person might think that they're too toxic for you. And they might be really upset about it. And actually, they may be thinking that they have to move forward. They have to move on. That they're not the one for you. What they thought was right may not be right. That is all because... Some of you here are playing a deceitful game. If you find yourself on this side of the equation, please stop crying over this person because they are not worth your tears in some cases because you are not the toxic one here. Now, if you are playing a deceitful game, but you're not trying to be toxic, I don't know what to say about that. Deceit is always toxic. No matter what. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little bit too crass here. Huh. Okay. I want to get more energy. I want to get more definition. I do feel like with the Six of Swords that's here, air signs, for this person, I feel like you both are moving forward together. You might be friends. You might be friends and you may be trying to feel each other out, okay? But I do feel like the both of you are moving forward together in this trajectory, whether you're consciously aware of it or not. Let's get some more information on the energy of the individual on this side of the equation, yes? Now also this five of cups and the devil energy could represent their own toxic ties. Sure, okay, that makes sense. Page of cups in reverse. See, but this is not because they can't make an offer to you. It feels like they feel like they can't. And then there, there's the fool. Oh, this person might actually be, um, oh shit. This boat may have sailed for some of you. This person may be jumping ship. And it's all because of this deceitful game. I really want to get more energies for this person here. What does this person want to say to you right now? Spirit, what does this person want to say right now? Seven of Pentacles. They've tried. They've tried and tried and tried. And they're like, well, shit, if this isn't going to work, I might as well just cut my losses and go. Queen of Wands. Oh. Eight of Swords. There's more mirroring there. And that's it for now. Well, damn. And then the Nine of Swords. You had the Eight of Swords here. Yeah, it's under here, under all of this. Didn't you have the Eight of Swords? Yes, here it is. Eight of Swords. All right, so you could be the cross watcher watching for a, an air sign, particularly a Libra. I keep wanting to say Libra. Um, but also we could, be, we could be talking to Gemini here too because the Lovers is here as well. Uh... Also, I mean, we could be talking to an Aquarian. I mean, this is for all three air signs, so it really doesn't matter. But here's, here's the deal. Uh, this person feels like you're a divine match. But this is literally what I, what, I, what I was picking up before. This person is sad and is not making an offer because of too much toxicity, or at least 
per, a perceived amount of too much toxicity. So with the seven of pentacles here, the queen of wands and the eight of swords, the seven of pentacles being an energy of cultivation, right? But it also could be an energy of focusing on the harvest that you have in front of you, finding or realizing or rationalizing that it's not giving you the fruit that you desired and thus cutting your losses here. This first, and, and then with the eight of swords, right? This person feels blocked from you. Damn. You do have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Fear. Apprehension. What the fuck did I do? I fucked up. I, this, I did this. I did that. Blah, 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 blah. Man. All right. Let's go back to you then here. How do you feel about this now? Six of wands? Who are you? <laughs> like straight up, who are you right now? Are you getting victory? Do you feel victorious because of this? Let's not get too toxic here. The moon. Aha. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, there you are. It's a front. Okay. All right, cool. Three of swords is the overall energy now for you. So you're pretending that everything's good, that you're not heartbroken, that you're not you don't have your own pain to deal with, whatnot, whatever. You're pretending that everything is good. And the Six of Wands can mean that on its own, right? The Six of Wands can be an energy of keeping up appearance, parading around here like ain't nothing wrong. But that's a front. The moon. So then what does this person have to say in response to that? This person has jumped ship. Two of cups in reverse. This very well could be you. You could be cross-watching for an air sign right now. And you could be feeling like you need to jump ship. Ace of wands. Oh. All right. Not necessarily. Okay. And then the six of cups. So, and then the queen of pentacles. All right. I get that. I totally get that. So this person here. On this side of the equation, it either could be you, air sign, or it could be you cross-watching for an air sign, okay? But someone is keeping up appearance here, pretending that everything's cool, pretending that they're solid, pretending that they're healed, pretending that they have no problems going on or whatnot, whatever, but they do, in fact, have problems. Three of swords. It could also be that this individual on this side of the equation is keeping up this front because they are have been hurt in the past. And I understand that. This person here on this side of the equation feels like they cannot touch you, that they cannot approach you, even though they are sprung just like you are. Where is this? Didn't the Ace of Wands come out for you? I could have swore I saw some Ace of Wands action coming out here. Nope, it's not here now. But didn't it? It was, I swear, I swear, I remember seeing the Ace of Wands coming out for this side of the equation. All right, and now this side here, even though they're sprung, even though they feel this soulmate connection, they feel a blockage here. And this person wants to be a supportive being in your life or you want to be a supportive being in their life. But here's the caveat. It's very important that it's coming out as the Queen of Pentacles because the Queen of Pentacles is one of those energies that says, I am willing to invest in this. I am willing to work towards this if you're willing to invest as well. But as soon as she realizes, as soon as she realizes that there is deceit, that someone is not keeping up the, uh, with their end of the bargain, that someone is not falling through with their end of the bargain, homegirl is going to cut and dip real quick. Because she's like, homegirl don't play that. I mean, we can work together. Everything can be solid. You don't have to be perfect, says the queen of pentacles. But you at least have to try and do your part. And this could very well be a cycle that this type of Queen of Pentacles energy or this individual has been going through time and time and time again. And she has every intention of stopping that cycle. Wheel of Fortune and the Tower to the Six of Pentacles to the Empress. The Six of Pentacles is that balance between give and take. That Six of Pentacles is that re uh, receptivity or, well, uh, um, 
um, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, reciprocity. There we go. And hold up. Wait, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, I'm pretty sure. Where's that empress here? Didn't the empress come out for you? Oh, look, there she is. Y'all are mirroring each other. And this individual on this side of the equation either knows that this person here is an empress or this person knows that they are an empress and they've been heartbroken too. And they've been trying to work on it. But when they start to get signals that mm, maybe this really isn't the one, maybe this person is being a fool, is telling me lies, maybe this person is being deceitful, the moment that an individual that is aligned with true, balanced, and healthy Queen of Pentacles energy understands or figures out or perceives of some deception, homegirl is gonna walk away. And there you go, the sun. That's why I was told not to take this out. Because someone doesn't know, want you to know how deceitful they are being. That is what the sun is illuminating here. the drama honey all right well now you know i'm actually going to get a third deck let's go with this one i'm gonna get a third deck because now i want to get some oracle guidance here what should be done five shuffles here how should this situation be handled by the individual that is in this queen of pentacles energy how should this situation be handled one or at least, what advice do we have for my collective that is resonating with this right now? This is two. This is three. Four. And this is five. All right, so what's our closing guidance here? How should this situation be handled? What do you say about this spirit? What is your guidance here? Because I'm going to tell you this, you guys. I do feel like my own human toxicity is being triggered here. So I'm trying to keep this as neutral as possible. But obviously, you can't really hear that in, <laughs> in the tone of my voice right now. But okay, so I'm asking for spirit's guidance here. How do we handle this situation, spirit? What is your guidance, please? Two of Pentacles came out, but when I first saw it, actually it was reversed. But then as it continued to fall out of the deck, it did come upright. The first message that I got with this being, um, oh, damn. Okay, the message with the Two of Pentacles in reverse is do not feel obligated to compensate for this tomfoolery. I'll say it again. Do not feel obligated to compensate for this tomfoolery. If you feel yourself trying to match the energy that is being deceitful to you, you're on the wrong path. Do not, do not, do not feel obligated to compensate for this energy. Two of pentacles in reverse. Anything else? And then there's the Page of Cups, which is upright. And then the star. Okay, so there's the Aquarian connection. So good, all three of y'all have shown up here. Justice, uh, the lovers, and, and the star. So Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay. If this really is what you want, I'm hearing stop compensating and start expressing. Start being real. Don't play this game any longer. Do not play this game with this person. If you really want to be with this person, if you really love this person, if this person really is your dream come true, then start acting like it. Point blank period, says the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh-wee! The Lover's Oracle. Closing Oracle guidance is going to come from the Lover's Oracle. I just have to find it. So... <laughs> Wait, hold on, you guys. I got to pause because I got to find this deck. Hold on. Okay, I found it. Lover's Oracle is going to be our closing message here. Here we go. 
closing oracle guidance for my air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and or cross watcher. What closing oracle guidance do you have in terms of this situation? All of these they're saying. Okay, but the first card that came out for you here is your main message. And <clears throat> it's this card right here. Yes? And this says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Oh my God. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what you feel is right. Stop compensating, yo, girl, bro. Stop compensating for this mess, man. Stop compensating for other people's toxic energy. You are not deserving of that. You deserve of more. You deserve of better. I understand that you're in this queen of pentacles, nurturing, loving, caring energy, even if you're a man. I don't care. You want to love, care for, and nurture someone. And if they're not stepping up, if they're not aligning with that, then what the hell are you doing here wasting your time, your energy, your valuable essence? Next card is this. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. And that's definitely coming from some energy of you trying to compensate for someone else's shit, thinking that this is all that you get. This is all that you're worthy of. This is all you got. Nah, baby. You're deserving of more. Next, you have this. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So this to me is saying that some of you here are actually in direct energetic alignment. You're compensating. You're in direct energetic alignment with this type of situation. Stop compensating. Hold your standards. Last, you have this card. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So show up. Act like it. Express it. But playing this deceitful game, you guys, is not cute. Never has been cute. Never will be cute, baby. Just drop it. Okay? <sighs> I'm going to leave it there. I'm exhausted. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I, I'm sending you so much love. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye.